So here we are in our brand new Lima walkthrough exhibit at RZSS Edinburgh Zoo. We have a group of seven female ring-tailed lemurs here. Um, they come from the island of Madagascar along with many other types of lemurs. Uh, they're quite a young group of lemurs that we've got here so they're very active, um, they're very inquisitive, they like to explore all the different bits of this enclosure. We've got lots of small trees that they can jump between and climb up um, and so they can sit up in the trees as well if they want a bit of distance between them and people. Uh, we've also got lots of edible species in here, so we've got lots of fruit trees. They can eat the, the buds and the, the flowers off them um, and obviously the insects that are attracted to them as well. And they're also quite um, happy down on the ground as well, exploring the long grasses here um, and all the other features that we have in the enclosure. So when you visit, there are lots of different behaviours that you might be able to look out for. Our lemurs are very sociable animals. Um, they tend to go about in a group a lot of the time. Um, you might see them sitting all huddled up together with their tails wrapped around one another, um, grooming each other. They spend a lot of time doing that. Um, you also might hear them uh, making lots of different noises too, because obviously you can get really close to them now, make lots of different vocalisations, just sort of communicating um, amongst themselves. So you'll probably be able to hear those. Uh, also, if you're lucky enough to be here on a nice sunny day, you might see them doing some sunbathing when they just sort of spread their arms and legs out um, and expose as much of their tummy as they can to the sun to warm up. Our Lima walkthrough is open during the middle of the day and it's staffed by our volunteers so they can give you any other information that you need. And when you're in here, we just ask that you um, respect that, that you're in the lemur's home and um, stick to a few basic um, rules. So we ask that you stay on the pathway, um, that you don't try and touch the lemurs. They might come over because they're very curious animals and they might come up very close, but um, you need to remember that they're still wild animals and they could give you a wee nip even though they look quite friendly. We also ask that you don't bring any food in here um, that might tempt the lemurs. Obviously it's important that they don't get fed anything in addition to their sort of carefully balanced diet that we feed them here. Um, it's very important that they don't eat anything that could make them ill. So ringtail lemurs and other lemurs in Madagascar are threatened by a number of factors at the moment. Uh, they are hunted for a number of reasons, for the illegal pet trade and also as bush meat. So they're eaten by the local people who are often very poor. Um, they also suffer a lot of habitat uh, loss and degradation through activities such as slash and burn farming and illegal logging as well. So by visiting one of our parks, maybe adopting an animal or becoming a member, you can contribute to the many conservation projects that RZSS are involved in. So in the case of the lemurs, we're involved with an organisation called the AEECL and they help to um, research and support uh, various projects out in Madagascar. For more information, please visit our website.